Now we ask you about us in prayer and meditation as Bishop O.C. Lewis shall lead us in prayer. Lord Jesus, our Heavenly Father, we thank you again for another wonderful day. You have blessed us to be in the land of the living. We give you thanks, we give you praise. Thank you for your love, for your kindness, mother to that mercy to the human family, especially to the saints and most high God. We thank you for your true plan of salvation that you yourself brought down from heaven and gave it unto men whereby we must be saved. Thank you for our pastor and pastor Bishop Belton Green, when he raised up in his last and evil days. Thank you for our assistant pastor Bishop Evan Samuels, filling in for him on this broadcast. Mighty God, if this gospel goes out to those out in Radio Up, Radio Land, pray that you have mercy upon men and women, O oh Lord, that they will take heed to the gospel as it's being brought that way. Let them repent from their sins and be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, tarry, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, and live a holy and a sanctified life right down this present evil world. Pray that you have mercy upon the sick, the afflicted, all that are oppressed of the devil. Send out the holy word and deliver. Rebuke the devil everywhere and set the captives free. These blessings we ask in your great name. Give you the glory. Give you the praises. Amen and amen. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible to God's radio service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. Now, at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you, from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the next voice you will hear, the assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Sam. What a great salvation. Oh, what a wonderful way. What a great salvation. Oh, what a wonderful way. Since I met Jesus. Ever since that day, what a great salvation, oh, what a wonderful way, what a great salvation, oh, what a wonderful way. What a great salvation, oh what a wonderful way, since I met Jesus, ever since I did, what a great salvation. What a wonderful way. Amen. Let the church say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Truly indeed again. Tonight we are bound to give great honor. Praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Who is the head of our life. One who is worthy of all the praise. Worthy of all the honor. We thank him tonight, as the song say, for such a great salvation. Such a great salvation that was brought down by God Almighty himself and handed down to the human family. I'm thanking God tonight for such a great salvation. Hallelujah. I'm thanking God for such a wonderful way. Yes. Thanking God also for our beloved Bishop and Apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Thank God for the man of God always. Thanking God for his labor sacrifice. Thank God for him again, allowing me this privilege to come before you all, the people, saints of God, those in Raider land, our Raider listeners far and near. We are thanking God for 
him, his labor sacrifice, thanking God for the word of God. He's going to live it. He's going to abide it forever. Amen. You know, I sit here tonight and hear the saints of God praising God and testifying. My God, that song really, oh, song really get to my heart. Singing, I make me sing, what a great salvation. My God, this is the greatest thing man can ever come across. You have a right to fight on. Sister say, fight on. You fight on. This make you want to fight on. Man. I see why Paul charges son Timothy to fight. The good fire of faith lay hold and eternal life is involved. My God, this make you want to fight. This make you lay down and want to fight. This make you get up and want to fight. What you fighting? Not a carnal fight, but we are fighting the good fight of faith. Laying hold and eternal life. I'm thanking God indeed for such a great salvation. Such a wonderful way. God Almighty brought it down and, and prepared it, set it before the face of all people. My God, he touching the mouth of all the prophets. Coming on down. Daniel spake concerning it in Daniel chapter 2, saying the days of these kings, since we have a right to praise God. My God. God, hey, you yeah, see why Paul said we glory even in tribulation because we in what God set up. We in what God set up. My God, man didn't set this up. Amen. But God Almighty in the book of Daniel chapter 2 and verse 44, Daniel saw it coming. Yes. Daniel said in the days of these kings, Shall the God of heaven? My God say, you know we have a right to praise God. We in what the God of heaven. Yes. Shall the God of heaven. Set up a kingdom. He set it up. He set it up. Shall the God of heaven. Set up a kingdom. Set up a kingdom. Which should never be destroyed. Do you hear what the word of God says? It said never. Praise God. Never. Be destroyed. If God says shall never be destroyed, you can take him at his word because I believe is in Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. And uh, he told him, Balaam, tell Balak, God is not a man that he should lie. That's it. He tries his best to get Balaam to curse God people. But he said, how can I curse whom God have not, not cursed. How can I defy whom God have not defied? After all he did to get him to curse, Balaam had to let him know. In Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. God is not a man. My God, if God said it never going to be destroyed, I can take him at his word. Why? Because God is, not, is a man, not a man that he should lie. That he should lie. Neither the son of man. He don't have to say something and can't do it and have to come back and repent to nobody. That's it, Bishop. God, this is the God we serve. That's why I love him so much. He's going to stand by his word. God is not a man that he should lie. He don't have to lie to nobody. He can, he tra if he had to change the time and the season, he will do it to make his word stand. That he should lie. Neither the son of man that Neither he should repent. Neither the son of, he don't have to repent to nobody because he couldn't do it. That he should repent. As he said. Have he said. Shall he not do it. Shall he not do it. Or has he spoken. Has the word done gone out of his mouth. Have he spoken? Shall he not make it good? He's going to make it good. What he spoke in Daniel, in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never, if he says shall never be destroyed, he's he going to stand by his word. Yes. You better get me. Matthew chapter uh, 16. My God. 
God, he questioned, who do men say that I, this son of man, am? He was God Almighty manifested in the flesh. My God, he was God Almighty. My God, it's in Matthew chapter 16, verse 13. Have me rush the time. What when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, read on. he asked his disciples, saying, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? I, the Son of Man, am. And they said, Yes. Some say that thou art John the Baptist. You, some say you are John the Baptist. Some Elias. Some Elias. Another Jeremiah. Another Jeremiah. And one of the prophets. My God, read on. And he said unto Otherwise, them. Otherwise, they just didn't know they were guessing. But he said to the ones that he opened the understanding yeah, and he said knew. Unto them, said unto them. And whom say ye that I am? Whom say he that I am? And Simon Peter answered Simon and said. Simon Peter answered and said. Of the Christ. Thou art the Christ. The son of the living God. God. God, your son. You are God and the son of God. Miss I read on. Son of the living God. Read on. Jesus answered and said Jesus unto him. Jesus answered and said unto him. Blessed are thou, Simon Bar You Jones. know you're blessed when you're understanding open. You are blessed. That's why we are so happy. Read on. Blessed are thou, Simon Bar Jones. Simon Bar Jones. For flesh and blood has Fle not revealed it unto thee. Flesh and blood didn't reveal it unto us. But my father. But my father. Which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. I say also unto thee. I say also unto thee. Thou Peter. Thou art Peter. Upon this rock. Hallelujah. Upon this rock. I will build my church. I'm going to build my church. And the gates of God hell. God said, the gates of hell shall not prevail Hallelujah. against it. Shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee. <laughs> Say, I'm going to give unto thee the keys the of the, key kingdom, of of the heaven. kingdom of heaven. Read Once on. Thou shall if bind if earth, you pound it on earth, shall be bound I'm going to pound it in heaven. What's of thou shall lose the earth. That's why you can't get around the gospel Peter preach. My God, everybody going to have to come and get lined up with what God brought. Well, that's why Paul fought it after Paul got in it. He knocked Paul down. My God, I'm make him an apostle. My God, Paul got in it. Paul fought it. But after his fighting, he said, we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. He said, what if some did not believe? Yes. Shall your unbelief Praise make God. the faith of God without the faith? Hey, God forbid, yea, let God be true. God going to make himself true. Man. And every man a liar. Everybody got to line up with what God brought. Saints, we are blessed. We are blessed. I count myself blessed. After Paul fought it and got in the church, he said, I count myself happy. He stood before King Agrippa and said, I count myself happy. You don't know how glad I am. My God, you know I'm happy. God in heaven, no, he know I'm happy. I'm happy. I can stand before the world and tell the world it's not another. It's not another. How you get in the church? How you get in? My God, you better get me Psalms chapter 87 and verse and verse verse 5. Listen what it says. Saints, let me tell you, if I don't have a penny in my pocket, my God, let me ask the, I met a lot of so-called great men in my lifetime. I've been around governors, New York here. I've been around boxer call themselves world champion world greatest my god but i haven't met nobody like jesus i haven't met Praise nobody god, like jesus yes. my god when i met jesus i see why when paul when paul got got a hold to it he say i count all things but loss and count it but down for the excellency of the knowledge of christ i give up everything for jesus Listen what the word of God said. Read on. And in Zion. In Zion. It shall be said. It shall be said. This and that man this was born This and that man. Was born in her. My God, I'm glad. I was born in the church. I was born in the church. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
I was born in the church. You were born in the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not ashamed. I'm not sad. I count myself happy. Why? Because I was born in the church. I can stand before creation and tell the world how I got in the church. How you this and that man was were born in him. Hallelujah. You are blessed to be born in the church. He ain't nothing to be sad about. My God is something to be glad about. Hallelujah. This and that man were born. In With, her. In her. And the highest himself the, shall establish her. The highest himself yes. shall establish her. And the Lord shall count. The Lord. You see, he know everyone that is born in the That's church. Bishop, he know, you ain't, ain't nobody going to slip in. No, sir. Hallelujah. You can't slip by God. No, Hallelujah. You're going to have to come in the way he got it set up. Except a man be born of the water and of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. In order to enter, you're going to have to come in according to the word of God. This and that man were born in her. Read on. Read on. Himself shall be established. Yes. And in Zion shall be said. Read on. This and that man was born in her. Born in her. And the highest himself. The highest himself. Shall establish her. Shall establish her. The Lord shall count. He know everyone that come in the church. He know everyone. That's it. My be. God. The minister, Elder Austin in Jackson said, one got baptized and choose and I. Then he told me, one got, then in headquarters here in New York, one got baptized Wednesday night. Then they told me today, one got baptized again today. My God, then two came back to the church. My God, one came back today. Yeah. Be, hallelujah to God. He know everyone. Hallelujah. He know everyone. My God, men don't know, but God know. God know. He know everyone that is born in the church. Somebody might overlook you. Somebody might criticize. But when you're born in the church, he know. He know. The Lord is counting. Yes. Hallelujah. The Lord shall count. When he write up the when people. He write People. That this man, that this man was born there. We are, it's a blessing to be born in the church. It's a blessing to be born in the church. Oh, Paul got in the church. Somebody, something. how you got in it? My God, my God, when I heard it, I, re I, I uh, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's how I got in the church. I got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I call on his name until he filled me with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. I heard myself speak in another tongue as the Spirit of God gave utterance. I can stand before the world. Hallelujah. Let me get Galatians 1 now. Time fail me. And verse 15. What a blessing to be born in the church, saints. Ain't nothing to be sad about. Paul stood before King Agrippa and said, I count myself happy. You are blessed to be born in the church. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 15. But would it please God? Did you want to know how I got in it? You want to know how we got in it? When it pleased God. Who separated me from my mother's who womb. Who separated me from my mother's womb. And called me by his grace. Called me by, by his, his grace. grace. To his son in me. Hallelujah. My, he called us. We were calling to this. And he revealed it. Yes. My God, he said, with loving kindness and tender mercy. What have I drawn? He, you know, he drawn us. He draws us right into the church. My God and Paul say, after he got in it, he say, we're not disobedient to the heavenly call. You that are out there in Raiderland hearing this broadcast, not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you better hurry up and run for your life. Don't linger now. My God, he said, why linger? My God, arise. 
while you're tiring, arise and get baptized, calling on the name of the Lord, washing away your sin. All right, you that are out there in Radio Land, you better get busy. Call us up. Try your best, get here and get the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. God keep you. We'll be back next week, Lord, it's willing, the same station, same hour, the same day. You can call the Chevelton Green at 718. 5840691. Again, you can reach Bishop Belton Green at 718-584-0691. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you is our prayers. My God, that's a true song. He is able. I don't care what you're up against right now. We serve a God that is able. He is able. He is able. My God, that's why, that's why the Hebrew boy told the king, we're not, we're not careful to answer the old king concerning this matter. But one thing we want you to know, our God who we serve, our God who we serve, he is able, he is able. My God, he said, oh king, I'm not careful to answer you concerning this matter. My God, but I want you to know, our God, our God, our God who we serve, he is able, he is able. My God, he's able. He's able. Saints, you know, you got to take boldness. Let the devil know my God is able. Talk back to the devil. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord has to lift up a standard. Don't let him push you around. Tell the devil, my God is able. My God is able. Hallelujah. He's able. He's able to deliver me. I don't care what you're up against right now. It might look bad. It look impossible. But with God, all things are possible. He's able. I don't care what you're buckling right now. You know, say, it's in my, it's in my heart. It's, it's in my heart. To do like the song said, you fight on. You fight on. You, I don't have a jaw back bone in me right now. You know, a child of God going to back the thing out. I don't. I speak the truth in Christ and lie. My God, I don't care what I'm up against, what I'm going through. I don't have a jaw back bone in me. My God, everything in me tell me you fight on. You fight on. My God said fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold. My God, some, you know, people, sometimes people out here fishing around, politicians and everything say, uh, uh, let's look for the undecided. I, brother, I, I don't have no undecided bone. Oh, somebody say, I've decided to follow Jesus. I've decided. I don't have no undecided bone in me. Oh, my mind made up. And I won't turn back. I decided. Oh, Moses was coming out of Egypt. My God, the Red Sea, hallelujah, was before him. Pharaoh and his army behind him. My God, my God. But Moses was determined never to turn back. The people were complaining. My God, because there was no grave over there in Egypt, you brought us here. But oh, Moses says, stand still. Stand still. My God, God got to do something. Hallelujah to God. Stand still. He tell them, stop complaining. My God, my God. The Red Sea before him. Pharaoh and his army behind him. But he said, God got 
to do something. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. My God, the Egyptian, who you see, faith is a powerful thing. You see today, when God finished, henceforth you won't see them no more. God got to do something. My God, God tell him, he why criest thou? Use the power I have you. It's power in that rod. Stretch out your rod and defy the Red Sea. What a mighty God. Saints, you fight on. All I'm encouraging you to do tonight, you fight on. My God, be very courageous. Don't be afraid. My God, whatever you, he told Joshua, my God, be very courageous. You're going to hit some hard spot, but fight on. Fight on! You're going to hit some hard spot. Oh, yes, you're going to do it. Oh, Paul hit some hard spot. I believe Paul over there in Acts chapter, I believe, 20 and verse 22. But he wouldn't let none of these things move him. He said, now I'm going on up. My God to Jerusalem, not knowing the thing. Sometimes a child of God, you don't know what your next test going to be. But fight on. Fight on. You got to be a buckle axe over here. Hallelujah. Everything come up against you. You say, I got to fight on. I'm going to fight on. Paul never know what's going to befall him. But he say, I believe in Acts chapter 20, verse 22. Now. now. Behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem. I know the thing that shall befall me. You don't there. always know what you're gonna come up against. I say, Bishop. As saints of God, you don't know what your day-to-day -day tests you're gonna face. But just remember, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You fight on, he said, not knowing. I don't always know. Me there. I don't always know. You don't always know. But that's why Peter said, Beloved, think it not strange concerning that fiery child, which is to try you. Some strange things going to happen, but you fight on. Fight all I can encourage you to do. You fight on. Fight on. Praise Not God. knowing the things that shall befall me there. Yes. But what? Save the Holy Ghost witness. Witness. In every city. In every city. Saying that bond and affliction abide me. Abide me. But none of these things move me. Don't let it move you. Don't back up from nothing. Just Moses, go forward. Go forward. You can't have a mind to go backward. You got to have a mind to That's go forward. Bishop. You're going to face some test, some trial, but the Holy Ghost said, go forward. Go forward. None of these things move me. Neither can I my life dear. You see, when you're in a battle, it's not even good to hang around people weak. Weak people will weaken your faith. Oh, yes. Amen. The Bible said, be not weak in faith. Be not weak in faith. It, you man. hang around somebody dark and weak, they're going to weaken you. My God, but David, that's why David couldn't hang around his brother. The brother start weakening him. I know your pride. I know the knot in it. You know, you see what David did? He turned from them and turned to somebody talking courage. What shall be done? To the men out there, I know I can't kill him. I see all my brothers, everybody running. But I, 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 kill, I kill a bear, I kill a lion, I conquer the king of the forest. This uncircumcised Philistine going to be as one of them. He turned from his bread. Then the, the Saul said, you, you, you but a child. That's this it. man is a man of war from his Man. David said, let me give you some of my background. I got I kept my father's sheep. A lion came up, got one of them out, and a, a bear, and I went after him. And when he rode, I caught him and I slew him. This uncircumcised Philistine going to be just like one of them. Why? Because he defiled the army of the living God. You see, when, when a child of God got God in him, all you know to do is to fight on. Fight on. Fight on. Do you hear what Paul said? But None of these things move me. You can't let everything. You're going to 
going to see a lot. You're going to hear a lot telling this highway of holiness. Young people, you got to hold God. You know what he said? From a child that was known the Holy Scripture that is able to make you wise. Don't hang around somebody weak. Mm -mm. That's what I've done under the days of Bishop Cruz. I've been around and I hear people talking weak. I say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. You ain't going to weaken me. All that faith that man put in out, yeah, and you thing. talking weak, yeah. I ain't going to hang around you. You got Bibles to be not weak in faith. You got to turn to from them and turn to somebody talking the right thing. Read on what he said. But none of these things move me. <laughs> Don't let nothing move you, saints. None of these things move me. Neither count I my life dear unto myself. And to myself. So that I may finish my course with joy. Saints, you got to finish it up. In order to finish it up, you got to fight on. You got to fight. Look, look, he never let it move. For the men, they come and say, over for them, above for the men. Bind themselves and a curse. Yeah. Say, we're not going to eat or drink till we kill Paul. But Paul said, none of these things move me. They took his go, hey, hey, go and bound himself and said, so it's going to be happening to the man that owned this girl. Paul, the people began to weep his disciple. They love him. He said, why weep and break my heart? I'm not only ready to be bound, I'm ready to die. You know, when you have this thing real, you got the sentence of death. That we should not trust in ourselves, but in God that raised the dead. God bless you, saints. God keep you. All I'm telling you, fight on. Sing this song one more time, sister. You fight on. Come on, church. That's what I'm going. That's what I'm going to do when I leave you all. I'm going to get on my knees tonight and I'm going to fight on. That's what all of us got to do. That's what every one of us got to do. The battle is set against us, but fight on. God bless you. God.